007 likes his vodka martini shaken not stirred. Find out what we think. Welcome to Comic Cocktails. I'm your host, Derek Schomer. I've got with me Ian Andrews this week, and we're in next week, and we're going to be doing what are we doing here? Oh, we're doing a martini vodka deconstruction. Martini. Mar yes. Vodka martini deconstruction. Not a, it's, it's not really, I don't know, is it a deconstruction by doing shake it versus stir it? Uh, no, it's a different? comparison, I guess. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's also called the kangaroo cocktail. Because typically, uh, a cocktail without a citrus in it, you're going to stir. This the vodka right. tends to be stirred. Right. But then, this one you don't. James Bond likes his vodkas, uh, martinis, shaken shake and not stirred. stirred. Which makes no sense. So, yeah. the, the big difference should be the clarity and the mouthfeel. Yes. Uh, maybe some difference in aroma. I don't know. I've never really done this kind of experiment, but mm. I think it would be cool. We're going to, for citrus bitters. Okay, so first off, this episode is well. executive producer's Antonin. Right. So, you can check that out right down here. Patreon.com slash CMC. If you'd like to be an executive producer, the recipe for this is go! Two ounces of premium vodka. We're both going to be using ocean vodka. Three quarter ounces of dry vermouth. We've got some Vaya Whisper Dry. I picked out Whisper Dry instead of Extra Dry because I'm not too dry as a person. Right. Okay. I don't like, well, I'm dry. I just don't like the dry. And then we're going to do two dashes of uh, Sitter Bitrus option. <laughs> Sitter Bitrus. Sitter Bitrus. <laughs> <Sitter bitrus. laughs> oh. I'm a less dick, so leave me alone. Wow. Some citrus bitters. We're going to use Dylan's lime bitters. Yep. A couple dashes of that. We're, not, we're going to skew the lime twist. He's going to do a uh, stir version. I'm going to do a shaken version. Clum and I'll let you start since it's a longer stir than the... Oh yeah, you want to slap me over some ice? I will slap you some ice. So the two ounces of premium vodka. Let's go with this. Two ounces. Oh. I don't like how that What? I don't like how that board. Oh, nobody likes how this board. Two ounces. Um... What's my next ingredient? This is a tough drink to make. Oh, dry vermouth, three quarters of an ounce. Uh, well, I like how this pours. Oh. <laughs> now that, now you're just being a dick. Yep. Yeah. Salty. Salty. I'm a salty dog. Two dashes. These are optional citrus bitters. You don't have to do them. Um, actually, before these, because the dash is pretty nice. Instead of like a whole crap load. And then, I'm going to stir. Right? You good? Yeah. Boom! We're going to stir it up. Future video may include uh, doing a dilution comparison between the shaken and stirred versions. I think we can have better control if we're going to do that because sure. uh, we're using different measuring utensils. We're not tearing out, weighing the weighing the liquids that we're adding, that kind of thing. So I think the two, two more, one more. Okay. Hmm. Really good. Those are really good. Dylan's line bitters. Check them out. They're good. I'm just counting. My 10 dice is really getting me up. <laughs> I gave you the Joe Strainer. Yeah. Silly, silly, silly man. Joe Strainers are for stirring glasses. Photo, Jennifer? Now this looks like lime Italian ice right here. It does. Doesn't it? Because of all that uh, aeration. How are we going to know which is which? I don't know. Let's just keep track of the glasses. Are we supposed to use this? I was just going to get that in case you wanted to get out your lime. Your uh, ice pieces? Your ice pieces. I'm yeah. with that. I think it looks cool. I like my ice flurries though. You like your some ice flurries? Some people like them, some people don't. Doug don't like them. I was just doing that really just to be pompous and arrogant. Oh, well, good job. The shaken version uh, is gradually getting those air bubbles incorporated okay. back into the liquid. Yeah, I think so. Which is kind of cool. Yeah, so the biggest difference is in presentation, which is why most people, well, not the biggest difference, but the first difference is yeah. presentation. Yeah. Um, this one presents itself very classy looking. Mm -hmm. That one, and I would have used the etched glasses just to make it look better, but I wanted to make sure to accent that. But you can right. see it's starting to clear out. Yeah, which is uh, But the mouthfeel of that should taste completely different. Mm -hmm. You got pinky out? Is that what we're doing? Oh, yeah, pinky out. This is a martini, buddy. <laughs> That's good with the whisper mm -hmm. dry. Uh, it's also the, the lime. Bitters actually come out. Mm. I can't speak for this one yet, but that one was really smooth. Yours is colder. This is it's it's smoother. Yeah. This has a little bit more that's, bite. That's silkier though. Hmm. No. Silky smooth. Yeah. Smooth silky. Yeah, more like a silky smooth. A, thi a thicker water almost. This is this tastes like pretty much like a cocktail. Like <laughs> any other. I don't know, like the. Mouthfeel is like cocktailish, you know, like any other cocktail. Mm. Well, so many cocktails are seen as shaken mm -hmm. as opposed to stirred. Stirred, stirred tends to take a little bit more work, actually. I think. 
I like this one. I like this one. Well, <laughs> yeah. I know that one. I'll keep this one. This one's it's a little bit more aggressive. There's a little more flavor in that one. I yeah. think. Yeah. It's got a little bit more lime. And a little bit more alcohol aggression. Which makes me think either we may have different balances just because our measuring techniques may be different. There may yes. be different amounts of bitters since there's a shaking type thing. I, I think we it's shake the, the bitters in. I think the bubbles like the No, I, I made sure you did the same bitter shaking I did. Okay. Uh, I I think it's the the uh, aeration. Maybe there's a different dilution because the aeration is gonna yeah, go away be, at some point. Which would be a different video on dilution I would think. Hmm. Uh, but yeah, I mean, there's definitely a difference. This one just yeah. has a little bit more lime flavor. The chill on that one, like it's a little bit colder, I think yeah. that's making it a little easier. This is good for somebody who's not too aggressive on, doesn't want a lot of alcohol. Yeah. This one brings a little bit more kick. I'm to, not a huge martini fan, so that may be why I like this a little bit more. This is true. I, yeah. I, and I'm not saying this is the, the drink I never order. Right. It would have gin in it if I was to do that. Yes. The name martini came out until later. So a lot of people that are watching are like, don't call it a, a martini because it's not with gin. There's technical... I mean, it comes down Martinez. to passion. Right, but the, the passion of who what, what could be called a martini is kind of lost at this point. People still argue it, but right. traditionally, a martini should be with gin. You go to the restaurant and you order a martini, you might get one with vodka, so yeah. say gin. A lot of times you have to say gin martini, vodka martini. You want to be explicit in what you're ordering. You don't want to get right. what you don't want. Right. So um, always order with... Especially if you know your brand you want. Yeah, and also, yeah, especially if you know what brand you want, a different right. cocktail. Like, if you want a Manhattan, a lot of times they'll ask you what you want in it. Right. And which if you should. have a brand, which is, yeah. Otherwise, should. they're going to give you the well, which is whatever they, they get the And if you're price. ordering a good, good cocktail, especially at a good bar, you don't want well. If you go to 1934, that's when the vodka kind of came into play. Mm -hmm. And you go a little bit further until, like, around 1950s, and it became the thing. It didn't hurt that 1953, I believe, the Vesper and uh, Casino Royale. Mm -hmm. Uh, kind of like change it and then the stirred versus shaken whole right. thing that Bond did. We did do a lot of research everything. on the history of vodka that we yeah. haven't released. So with, I, yeah. I sympathize with those that say this should be gin. I picked vodka specifically because I wanted to see the attributes of a shaken versus stirred to see if there was any difference. I didn't think there was going to be besides the mouthfeel. This one still well, has a nice Well, it's good because we're less distracted by the more uh, poignant flavor of gin. Yeah. Mm. So the, the mouthfeel and everything... Yeah. Gets uh, less, you know, askewed from that. I don't know why I'm using that word so much today. Uh, that's getting more vermouthy as it sits. Mm. This stays constant because the bubbles are, are yeah. starting to dissipate. So you, you're really supposed to drink them quicker. Boils, boils Law. Yeah. Boils Law. Boils Law. Thank you, Boyle. Boils Law. Question of the day. Um, oh, yeah. We do that. <laughs> yeah. Do you like your cocktails shaken versus stirred? Even... In the case where it says, oh, you have juice, you're supposed to always shake juice. And you're, are there specific you drinks? You don't do that with a highball. No. There's exceptions to every rule. A load of juice in a highball, typically. Shit. Uh, so how do you, would you still shake a highball or a screwdriver or something like that to bring out that bubbly effervescence? Or do you just stick with whatever the hell the recipe says? Uh, love to know your answers. Write them in the comments below. Yeah. Give a little why also. Yeah. Start, a little start why. Start discussion. And, and last but not least... This is just stuff I'm going to put out there because I was at YouTube this week and they said this this kind of makes a little bit of a difference. If anybody out there would love to submit either captions or in, or language translations for us, if you're in another language and you're like, I wish you, we could have your show in this language so I can have my buddies who only speak German or um, French or Spanish, you could submit captions to the show and then awesome. I can put them in. Yeah, that's awesome. So if, if that's what if you would enjoy doing that and try and take what I'm saying and turn it into another language, I'll put them into the show so that everybody can see it. And you'll get, I believe there's even a caption, credit? yeah, caption credits oh, yeah. that they they've implemented. I've never used them because I've never even brought it up. That's cool. But that's just something to think about if you're into it. I left that for the end of the show because I know only our diehard people are here. Um, we got like 48 percent retention rate, so everybody else is already gone. You guys are cooler. That's it, my friends. We're teaching you how to drink. Oh hi, you're still here. Well, while you're here, why don't you subscribe, check out our Patreon, uh, maybe donate to the show, and there's a couple links down here for a video, one that you might prefer, or one of our awesome playlists. So check that out while you're here. We're done here.